Welcome. So in this problem, what I have is uh, 16 divided by x minus 2 divided by 4 divided by x plus 1 plus 6 divided by x. Now, we could go ahead and multiply everything by your LCD. Um, and notice our LCD would just be all of our denominators. So it would be x minus 2, x plus 1, and x. And that would eliminate everything. However, the other way that we've talked about is when we have two fractions in our denominator or numerator, we can just simply combine them. Now, we still have to combine them by getting uh, like denominators. So we notice that our denominators are not the same. However, if I multiply this denominator or this fraction by x over x and this one by x plus 1 times x plus 1, I now have created common denominators, which is my LCD for my denominator is going to be x times x plus 1. So now I've created my common denominator, and I can com now combine these two fractions. So therefore, I now have 16 over x minus 2 divided by, and let's see here, I'll have 4x plus uh, 6x plus 1, as I apply distributive property, and I'll simplify that in a second, all over x times x plus 1. Actually, you know what? Let's just keep that, and then I'll simplify to rewrite it. So let's say we have 4x plus 6 times x plus 1 divided by x times x plus 1. OK, so now let's go and combine. Let's go and simplify that. So I have 4x plus 6 times x plus 1 divided by x times x plus 1. OK, so now I can apply distributive property to both my denominator and my numerator. So therefore, I have 4x plus 6x plus 6 divided by x squared plus x, which that in case turns into 10x plus 6 divided by x squared plus x, which in this case, again, I can factor out a 2. So therefore, I'll be left with a 5x plus 3 divided by x squared plus x. OK, so that's what I really want to be able to write that in there with. right? So this, you can see I did all my work and I showed everything. But really, what we want to use is our this form, our simplified form. So we'll have 2 times 5x plus 3 divided by x squared plus x. OK, x squared plus x, which actually we can just leave that. Um, let's actually leave that in the factored form, x times x plus 1. All right, so now to finish up this problem, the last thing we need to do is just multiply by the reciprocal, right? Because remember, we want to get rid of this fraction. So we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. Well, the reciprocal is x times x plus 1 over 2 times 5x plus 3. And we do that on the top and the bottom. So it's x times x plus 1 divided by 2 times 5x plus 3. All right. Now, what we notice here is when we multiply this across, our x minus 2 cannot divide out with our x plus 1, um, nor can our x divide out. However, our 16 can be divided by 2, leaving us with 8. So my final, final answer, which I'll write kind of in here, is going to be 8x times x plus 1 divided by that cancel out. So we're left with an x minus 2 times 5x plus 3. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is your simplified answer. Thanks.